Riga, Latvia. The loved ones of the drafted Russian soldiers forced to fight in Ukraine indefinitely have tried everything. They appealed to the defense ministry, wrote letters to President Vladimir Putin, met with many officials and even protested publicly. Their questions to Putin's annual, direct line, call-in show for Russians last week were ignored. They mounted car sticker campaigns calling for the return of their husbands and sons, and crafted Christmas tree ornaments with the words, Bring Papa Home. They posted impassioned video messages on social media. The Kremlin has rebuffed them. Yet they have emerged as the only wild card in Putin's highly stage-managed election campaign that will allow him to rule until at least 2030. In this highly charged atmosphere, the Kremlin is determined to stifle any dissent, but there is no easy answer to women furious that their sons and husbands are being forced to fight on until the end of the war. Russian authorities have sent agents of the Federal Security Service, or FSB, to question soldiers whose wives are involved, according to an increasingly strident telegram group, The Way Home, which is leading the campaign to bring men home. Military officers have threatened to send soldiers into frontline assault operations, unless they silence their wives, it reports. Your methods are very dirty. You are trying to calm our anger by putting pressure on our relatives. Keep in mind that we can lose them at any moment. You are playing with their lives and ours, according to a December 19th post on the channel. These are the obvious methods of cowards and rats. A day earlier, the channel urged Putin to end the war, or go to the front yourself and die. Putin took no questions from such women in his direct line show but dashed their hopes by ruling out a new round of mobilization that would allow exhausted contract and drafted soldiers, who have been fighting for a year or more, to go home. Russian political analyst Tatiana Stanovaya, based in France, said that Putin's decision was irreversible and seen as necessary to avoid the public furor that accompanied the 2022 call-up that mobilized at least 300,000 men for the war. There will be no pity. And the Kremlin will try to keep them silent. And if there will be some more radicalized actions, they will resort to more repressive measures, she said. A single mother of a soldier sent to fight in Ukraine more than a year ago against his will said men were being sent, to slaughter, in suicidal battle missions, sometimes calling their wives beforehand to give their grim goodbyes. I'm an ordinary village woman, and my son couldn't even kill a chicken, and now all this has happened, said the woman, whom the Washington Post is not identifying because she could be jailed for criticizing the military under Russia's draconian censorship laws. Every day you live in fear and worry. You lie from one text message to another message, she said.